Welcome to Learn Cantonese Mastering Conversation for Beginners. Today, the conversation is going to be uh, around uh, in within the restaurant. So, like uh, before, I'll start with um, the Cantonese um, conversation in a normal pace. And then we are going to uh, look at the English version of the conversation. And then we're going to read together afterwards. And then we are going to break uh, the conversation down into sentence by sentence, in which we'll analyze every single part of it. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Funyang,几多位? 兩位有沒有訂枱沒有先生想吃什麼東西我想要一份牛排跟薯蓉小姐你呢我要份三文魚排跟意大利雲吞唔該埋單冇問題 so, what is the uh, conversation about? Um, well, what happened is uh, Dai Man um, and Siu uh, Mai. Um, in Cantonese, it's a uh, diamond and siu mei um, goes to the restaurant and orders some food uh, with uh, the waiter. Um, so first, um, the waiter says, "Welcome." How many people? And diamond, diamond says two. Waiter then says, "Any reservations?" Diamond then says, "No." The waiter then replied, this way, please. After a while, um, the waiter would say, uh, what would you like to eat, sir? Diamond then replied, I would like to have the steak with mashed potato, please. The waiter then said, and you please? Now uh, then, Siu Mei comes along and uh, said, I would like the salmon with ravioli. So after um, the waiter places the order, he says, uh, thank you. And after a while, um, Diamond, uh, Diamond asks uh, the waiter, could you give me the bill, please? The waiter then replies, no problem, and asks for how is the food? Diamond then replies, um, very tasty, and uh, can I use the credit card? Um, the waiter then replied, yes, um, $200. Uh, and then once Diamond pays, then he says, thank you. Okay, so um, now let's uh, read together um, the the phonetic representation of each kanji is in the bottom of each kanji um, and uh, just follow along I would speak really slowly and try to match my pronunciation as best as possible okay so let's get started si yang fun yang Gay
Yang O K V B Ting C Yang C Sang Sung Sing D Mut Ye Dai Mun Ngo Sung Yu Yat Fun No Pa Gun Shu Yong Si Yang Siu Che Lay Le Siu Mei Ngo Yu Fun Sam Man Yu Pa Gun Yi Dai Lay Wan Tan Dai Man Mm Goi Mai Dan Si Ying Mo Man Tai D Ye O K Ma Dai Man Ho Ho Sek Li Sau Mm Sau Credit Card Si Ying Sau Yi Ba Man Do Che So now um, let's break down each sentence uh, and uh, see what is actually going on. So um, the first sentence, uh, um, it says, uh, the waiter says, welcome, how many people? So in Cantonese, um, waiter is si yeng. Si yeng. And the waiter said, Fun Ying Gay To Wai. Now, Fun Ying is a uh, is a very common Chinese expression. Um, what it means is welcome, welcome, and uh, in Cantonese it's Fun Ying. Fun Ying. Um, the next part, Gay uh, To Wai. Now. Um, Gaito in Cantonese means um, how many um, and why in Cantonese means a spot so normally when you're looking for a, a, um, a, a, a for two people let's say you would actually be asking for two spots in Cantonese so like you got if you have two people you say Leong Wai, right? Or if you have three people, you say Sam Wai. So you won't say like three people. Well, you would, but you could, but it's rather odd. So usually you would just say um, three spots or two spots in Cantonese. Now, in um, uh, the question from the waiter, um, Diamond replied uh, two spots, in which in Cantonese it's called Leung Wai. Leung Wai. So we have talked about um, how we use spots in uh, Cantonese. Uh, however, what I really want to talk about here is um, the, the kanji Leung. So, if you're familiar with uh, Chinese numbers, um, two is actually uh, pronounced yi, yi, uh, like like when you're like let's say counting numbers, right? Or when you're saying um, number one or number two, uh, you would say dai ya dai yi, in which you would still use yi as as um, as for two, right? However, when you are um, Looking at number of objects or persons, 
like something that associates with counting number of objects, like in particular objects or people, like let's say two books, two person, two spots, two TVs, you would use long, long. So let's look at uh, this phrase in Cantonese. Um, uh, in English, it actually means, um, do you have any reservations? Now in Cantonese, it pronounces yao mo dang toy. Again, in Cantonese, it, it says yao mo dang toy. Now, yao mo is actually a combination of two kanjis in which one is um, to have which is yao that's the kanji for to have and the next kanji mo means don't have so basically yeah, this means do you have basically it's, it's it's more of a question kind of sense when you put those kanjis together and it has to be in that order by the way now, dang in Cantonese means reserve, and toy in Cantonese means table. Now, um, this phrase, um, li bin cheng, uh, in English it means this way please, and each kanji basically coincides to each of the English in the uh, on the top, by the way. So li actually in Cantonese means this. Bin in Cantonese means way. Um, and cheng in Cantonese actually means please. So this is a rather easy one, I believe, to In this phrase, um, in English, it translates to what would you like to eat, sir? Now in Cantonese, it pronounces um, xin san seong sek di mat ye. Now you, you, you should know by now that xin san means um, mister. So means uh, to think, um, and sick means to eat, right? So the first four kanji would put together um, sin, san, seng, sick. Um, you would uh, 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 when combine those kanjis, it would be, um, Mister, uh, what would you like to eat? Right? What would you like to eat? However, um, this sentence is incomplete because um, you need you need to add something in the end. And the last three kanjis is what we meant by something because um, you're you're talking about seung and sek is just to think and to eat, right? Um, now. The last three kanji um, pronounced di mat ye um, is more or less uh, mat ye means uh, things. Okay, so like what kind of things that you would like to eat? Because uh, with just eat, um, we would not understand what you want to say. You wouldn't need um, the the, the the alphabet D in here it is more of a um, supportive uh, um, uh, particle um, it's it's actually actually evolved from uh, the, the the original Chinese word thing and it's actually written quite closely as well but most of the time when you see um, Cantonese casual writing you would see 
in like the alphabet D in uh, in in the writing um, when they write casually. I'll show the kanji format um, in later lessons, um, and and that is more or less a possessive particle. Um, so it's it's like uh, uh, eat, but of what, right? And D is a connection of what stuff are you eating and mat ye is actually more or less what things so sin sang sang set in the first four kanjis it means um, mr likes want or like or want to eat right and di mat ye is more like what kind of stuff so overall it will translate to mr um, uh, likes to eat what kind of stuff and di mat ye means what kind of stuff in uh, Cantonese okay so in this phrase uh, it says I would like to have the steak with mashed potato please and in the Cantonese version it says Ngo Sang Yu Yafan Ngao Pa Gan Su Yong Now there's a uh, quite a few um, familiar kanjis I believe already in the sentence like Ngo which is me Sang means to think Yu uh, means I need and uh, so um ngo sang yu in this case when put together means i would like now yat fun well fun is actually for counting um on number of meals so when i say yat um means number one um, so yat fun it's like i want one meal of like in which meal was not really really set there but it's for counting like meal because later I would say what the dish is right so ngao pa in this case is um, b, uh, uh, steak so ngao is cow right but anything any animal that add with um, pa in the end would mean the uh, the fillet or or the um, the section of meat that you have on your dish like like pork chop you would say chu pa chu means pig in uh, in, in uh, Cantonese and if you want fish fillet you'd say yu pa which yu is fish in Cantonese so now gun gun um, uh, the, 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 the third last kanji means to follow um, or with in this case um, and shu yong means mashed potato or shu means potato and yong means mashed now um, this sentence um, in English it uh, actually says could you give me the bill please now in, in Cantonese it is very simply goi mai dan goi mai dan so um, goi means excuse me excuse me and my dan um, this is actually uh, um, a Cantonese word of saying um, closing transaction or closing the receipt so it means um, paying for uh, whatever that uh, you bought usually at the restaurant so in this case um, it's for paying the meal so my dan is basically used for that particular action okay so in this sentence um, it, in English it means no problem how is the food um, now no problem in Cantonese is mo man tai mo man tai where mo means no and man tai means no problem now um di ye in um in cantonese means uh, the stuff 
stuff. So it's T is more like an emphasis on whatever it's following. So and the Y means uh, stuff in Cantonese. And OK, well, of course, it means OK. It's directly the same. Um, and usually there's no Cantonese or kanji replacement for OK. You usually just put OK in written as well. No, ma. Ma is, in some cases, it's um, for questioning people. So if it's a question, um, most cases you will usually add the ma in the end. If not, then you have to actually change your tonation in some sort. Usually, um, raising the tonation at the end to create the sentence. So, ma again is usually for uh, asking questions. So, now let's look at this phrase. In English, it means um, very tasty. Can I use credit card? Now in Cantonese it is ho ho sec lay sao so credit card. Now ho ho sec well you already know sec means to eat right and ho means good. Now ho ho usually in um, Cantonese means very good. So um, Direct translation here means very good to eat, but um, you, in, in English you would actually translate to very tasty. So, very tasty in Cantonese is ho ho se. Now, um, lei, uh, you would probably already know that uh, lei means uh, you. Now, so, so, it's actually mean do you receive, because so means um, receive in Cantonese. Now, if you have um, in the middle between two, so, it means it's actually asking do you receive. Um, usually it can be, uh, uh, can be used between two verbs, like let's say to go um, means right now um, if you want to say do you want to go um, mean uh, can be translated to ho in Cantonese etc um, no credit card um, most of the time uh, some of the words you can actually just say it in English such as this case that doesn't mean that they don't have a alternative um, alternative uh, Cantonese word for it, because um, credit card in Cantonese is actually called Sun Yong Kat. Sun Yong Kat. However, um, most of the time you would just say credit card in Hong Kong and people would know um, what you're talking about. Um, so, yeah, overall, the whole sentence. Um, Especially uh, the last part, they sound so credit card um, can be said in uh, using they sound so sun yong card, and I mean sun yong is actually um, just the Cantonese meaning of credit, and um, card is basically a direct uh, transcription of what English card is, and just put it into a random kanji. So this is um, the end of the lecture. Um, I know that it's a lot of materials that I've covered. Um, however, um, I encourage you to review all of the materials that I have presented until you are sure that you have mastered everything. Um, it is also highly recommended that you buy a, um, a, a Cantonese study guide or textbook um, to work alongside with this course um, to optimize your uh, 
your 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 time in learning this language. Um, and if you wanted to support us, um, uh, please buy it from our Amazon storefront in our website. Um, it is of no extra cost to you. Um, however, uh, part of the money would uh, um, be sent to us as commissions and in which those money we could use it to create uh, and support us to uh, for creating more materials um, for you guys. Uh, now, um, also if you are ready in uh, in uh, mastering this uh, course and you know for sure that you know everything, um, we also have a quiz for you. Uh, the if you are viewing this on the website or in our mobile app, you can see um, you can see it in the in the description of uh, the video in in the app or in the or in the website of which you're viewing this video right now. Or if you are um, viewing this from YouTube. I've also um, included the link to our quiz in the YouTube description found below. Um, I hope uh, you do well and I hope you could master this language. Um, thank you for uh, uh, looking at this um, course um, and have yourself a great day.